this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up an SMB share on your FreeNAS machine. To share with Windows machines, FreeNAS uses SIFS, also known as SMB or Samba. SMB shares are also compatible with Mac OS. Now before you get started, you should already have a pool configured. To learn how to configure a pool, watch our FreeNAS ZFS Pools Overview video. We'll go ahead and set up a FreeNAS user account, which allows you to securely access your shares. Go to Accounts, then Users on the left menu. I'll be creating a new user called Home User and creating a new primary group with it. I'll be configuring the new share to use this user and group, but be sure to substitute your own users and groups as needed. Now go to Storage, and then Pools on the left-hand side. Open the Pool options by clicking the three dots on the right of the pool, then Add Data Set. I'm calling this Windows Set and setting the share type to SMB. Click Save when done. Next, we'll create the Windows Share. Go to Sharing and Windows Shares SMB. Click Add. Now click the folder icon and browse to the path of the dataset you want to share, which was Windows Set. Give your share a name. I'll call this one Windows Share. Select Allow Guest Access if you would like guests to view your files without a password. Note that some Windows 10 and server systems have guest access disabled by default, and on Mac OS you will need to set the Connect As option to Guest. Now click Save when done. It will ask you to enable service for the SMB protocol. For this next step, we'll need to assign the user we created earlier with a share. From the SMB window, open the share options by clicking the three dots on the right, and edit ACL. On the left side, leave root and wheel as the original owners of the dataset. To give another user ownership permissions, click Add ACL Item, then choose User for the Who field, and Home User for the User field. You may copy the same settings as the ACL items above. These settings on the right side allow you to configure the dataset's access control list according to your network and security needs. Note that when we set the share type to SMB earlier, the ACL options will default to that specific configuration, which is shown here. Refer to the FreeNAS documentation for configuration recommendations for ACLs. Click Save when that is done. Now go to the Services page and make sure Running is enabled next to SMB. To ensure that SMB is always running after FreeNAS reboots, check Start automatically. For additional options to configure the SMB service, you can click the Edit icon here. More information about these options can be found in the documentation, but the default values will work just fine. Now, head over to your Windows machine. Go ahead and open up a file explorer and type in backslash backslash followed by your FreeNAS IP address. You should be able to see your share in here. Right-click that shared folder and click Map Network Drive. Check the box Connect Using Different Credentials, then click Finish. Enter the login details of the account you created in the beginning, which was Home User. You should now be able to add, delete, and create files or folders. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Visit us at ixsystems.com to learn more about FreeNAS, TrueNAS, and IX Systems. Be sure to check out our other tutorial videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. FreeNAS is the open source community edition of the IX Systems TrueNAS product family, a comprehensive line of powerful unified storage products for organizations of all sizes. With its flash-based architecture, powerful ZFS file system, and award-winning support, TrueNAS Systems provides secure, scalable, and flexible high-performance storage for virtually any application and budget. To learn more about the TrueNAS product family from iXSystems, visit us on the web at ixsystems.com.